Hi guys, so today I'm going to continue on opening up the Spellbinders Crafty Advent Calendar. I am so sorry it is sold out. It's sold out so fast. Um, hopefully next year they'll bring back more than was the first year of doing this. So, um, you know, hopefully next year they'll have more. That's all. <laughs> so they did send these items free of charge for my review. And of course, all opinions are my own. And any links out in the description box will be affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission if you purchase items to those links. But I did say when I showed you guys the advent calendar, because I just kind of showed you it, showed it to you guys, we weren't able to unbox it at the time, because that was something they wanted us to reserve until the 1st of December. Um, I said that I would be working with it, you know, um, as I went through. So I will definitely do that. So uh, we opened one through four. So today we're going to do five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, so um, I'm also going to make a short of this if I can. So, either way, uh, so we have number five here. Day five. Let's see what we have. A nice big pocket. Oh, oh, it's a little embossing folder. I was like, you don't see anything. Look at that. So, there's like a little striped diagonal embossing folder. And then we have day six. Of course, I'll pop these out in just a minute. So day six. Well, I'm trying to be careful with it. A little gnome. Oh my gosh, you guys. I know it's hard to see there, but it's a little gnome die set. Uh, day seven is a big square over here. So let's check that guy out. Oh, a stencil. Oh, a stencil set. So there's a couple stencils in there. And day eight, right down here. A little bit smaller square. Day eight. Oh my goodness, a heart with the outline and an inlay. Not even an inlay, it's um, a whole layer up piece for it. Okay, so I don't know what I'm going to play with first, but let's see. Ah. I just stuck down a little bit, which is actually really nice. I haven't had anything like falling out or that wasn't in the right spot or anything like that. So embossing folder that does like a little strip. So the area is about just over uh, one and a half inches. I'm looking at the actual like embossing that it would do to five and a half. So just as long as like a card base, if you want to add like a little strip or something of some embossing or repeat it or however you want to play with that. So that was one, I'm sorry, five. And then six down here. Again, oh, <laughs> was a little gnome with all his little different decorations and everything. Oh my gosh, you guys. Um, it looks like he has a little string, so you can make like a star balloon maybe or something. It has a little uh, inlay on his hat. That is so cute. Even his little beard and everything. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna pop that back in there. And let's take a better look at seven. Again, it's a little square stencil. That is so smart. How cute is this, you guys? And it has the two different layers. Very interesting because it, oh, it's three layers. Oh my gosh, I wish I had known that. I'm not sure I said two, but it's three different um, areas. Now, I don't know if they specifically do layer, but it looks like it because if you look through here, you don't see any of them overlapping. And then we have this guy, so I was kind of curious of where this guy goes. Yeah, that guy leaves some bigger dots there, and I wonder, hmm, because of the way it's made. No, those definitely would overlap. Okay, so it's just this way, and you have like a little extra, so three different layers. Very cool. I'll keep those the right way. And then, like I said, this heart die set, which has the outer die, like a layering die, or matte layer. And then this one, and this one does make pieces of heart. So if you want to put that in there or just use this by itself or however, but that's very cool. And again, a good size. I'm trying to measure this for you guys. It's like two and a half inches tall, I would say, by just over two and a half in the other direction. So let me get some papers or something and we'll uh, put something together. I'll be right back. So unfortunately, I just broke my nail turning on my camera. I don't know how that happened, but <laughs> there it is. Um, I think what I'm gonna do is an A2 size, of course standard um which of course you know i grab these from the spellbinders card kits but these are generally eight and a half by five and a half square to four and a quarter so you have an a2 size that's five and a half by four and a quarter on the front i like matte layering with like little 
skinny border. So this is four and eighth by five and three eighths. If you don't like that, four by five and a quarter, or just mat the whole thing, you know, four and a quarter by five and a half, or different layers, whatever it is that you like. I need to start putting these back. Oh no, I just said, oh, it's pretty good because some of these, you know, they didn't slip anywhere, but uh, my stencil slipped away. Hopefully I don't have any other ones doing something like that. I'm gonna get that back over there. Um, but what I'm gonna start off with is this guy. Oh my gosh, look at my little bird. Uh, wing. Okay, I'm gonna use this. And I used that already. Uh, for right now, we're just gonna focus on that. I'm just trying to see where this little wing came from. Oh my gosh, you guys. How did I do this? Didn't come from there. Um, didn't come from eight, but I will need this, so good thing I opened that. I'm gonna put this little wing to the side for now until I find uh, where you came from. We are gonna use the gnome, but I'm gonna leave this open like this, I suppose, so I don't misplace anything else. Okay, um, so what I'm gonna do with this piece, what I figured would be fun, is just to give it a little something. So I'm gonna put this through here on the top. Not complete the top, but I am going to start off with just making an aperture. So we'll make like a shaker, and then I'm gonna put the little gnome here, and then a little bit of this decoration on either side. I think that might be fun, top and bottom. I'll put this a little bit higher up so our gnome can just kind of chill there. So if I have this here, and I'm totally eyeballing this, you know, where I'm placing it. I'm going to run this through first and then we'll run it through to get some embossing. Just some little detail there. And I'll be right back. And <laughs> cut right out. Super cute. Of course we need stuff for something else. And this SES means standard, I guess, embossing system maybe. I don't know. But either way, it's the standard thing. So what I'm going to do is kind of line this up. And as much as I take here, I might put it at the bottom. Maybe I'll do a little more at the bottom. I don't know. But for right now, I'm just eyeballing that. That's about straight. And with the standard thing, all you're doing is the paper the embossing folder. I don't really want that crease from the embossing folder, so we'll see what happens. I might just face it out. We'll see how it looks. Oh my goodness, it did make a little line there, but you know what? Not too bad. Um, and then on the side I'll do the same and I'm just wondering if I should have them going the opposite way or like I don't even know if that matters actually um, we can just run it about the same it was about an inch or so I don't know let's see that looks good and I'm just looking at it to see that it's straight and what I meant by is I'll just put it at the end is like this that way that pressure is here not so much on the actual that little bit so we won't get that line from the folder, you know? At least we shouldn't. We'll see. <laughs> Let's go. Yep. So next time I'll do that, I'll just have it hanging off the edge, you know, because I got a little bit of line from the folder. But that's pretty cute. A little detail added. Okay. And we're going to shaker that. And so I can just cover the back with a piece of acetate. And literally, I'm just going to take a piece of acetate and glue it to the back so it's not the biggest deal um, if you don't have acetate you can always use like carrier sheet or like stamp carrier sometimes it's the same kind of consistency or even packaging plastic packaging no one's gonna be poking at it and say oh this is much thicker than an acetate sheet it's fine so I'm not gonna make it a circle I'm just gonna take like a square of it and just glue it on the back okay and I'll be right back I actually took it from a carrier stamp sheet carrier and oh my goodness I'd be able to put that away easily. I'm not. Um, okay. And just get it right down around the edges. What is going on? I refilled this the other day. And she is just like, nope. I think like clogging up is her favorite thing to do. All right. Let's go. And part of it is too that I use this and to kind of spread glue out and Maybe I shouldn't do that. It's a bad habit. But anyway, wipe that off. Should cover it up. And then just make sure your acetate's nice and clean. If it's not, I mean, you can give it a little, a little cleaning. And there we go. Okay, we're at our sixth door. We definitely have our little gnome. And I think this wing must have come from a bird die, so I guess that's another sneak peek we have. <laughs> and 
how cute is he? So again, he has some little decorations. Um, a little, little leaf, some little flowers, stars. Of course, that's his little beardy. And then this part does his nose and his hands and his feet, or his shoes, should I say. So um, I'll run those through a couple different colors. The hand and the nose can be the same, I suppose. Um, Sometimes I like to make their nose like pinkish, just so it looks like they're cold or something. I don't know. Um, we have a little balloon that is so cute. And then um, an inlay on his little hat if you want to do that. So I'm just going to grab some different colors. On this piece, I think I'm going to run it through paper that has like a cute color or pattern or whatever it is that you want because basically this is his little clothes. And then you're going to put his little beard part, you know. Or you can cut it up and do different things because it has some areas where it just really, this will cut in there too. So you can just cut it away if you want to. You know, something different. I don't know. Because uh, we'll do that probably for the hat. So for right now, let me get the basic things going. So like a little string. I'll do the little um, balloon. Again, I'll run him through some, like, maybe a couple different colors. Well, eh. We'll see. And then uh, the basic thing of his beard and his little shoes and hands and nose. Different colors. And I'll be right back. So I just ran these pieces through. So I want to show you kind of what I'm thinking. Maybe <laughs> this one. Um, I could have paid more attention to where it was cutting, but I thought, oh, it's cute. It looks like he's wearing, like, little, I don't know, not really Hawaiian clothes, but just something cute like that. So we're going to take this guy, and we're just going to go ahead and stick that down now. And if you like things to be, you know, a little bit up or whatever, some uh, dimension, then go for that. Basically, I'm laying this right up to the tip of his little hat, right? Now, we have his hat there, and clearly that's coming from there. We're going to put his little nose down so it can already start taking form, and then his little hands over here and here. I think I can go right into his hands because I don't think um, he can just hold his little string or whatever can be down here. Um, oh yeah, <laughs> I was like, that looks weird, but it goes this way, silly girl. Okay. So it has little texture and little cut lines, so his little hands different. I'm going to run the shoes through again and the nose. I'm just going to put that little guy down. So I always make my gnomes like little old people, and I was like, you know what? I'll give him brown, a brown beard today. So it can be a little different. So we have that. I mean, he has his little hat, you know, his little outfit, and then of course his shoes will really make it pop. If you want his hat to be a different color, then we can definitely do that too. I'm um, trying to see if we're doing sticking with green. That green is slightly different from that. Um, yeah, yeah, you know what? We can do this. Okay. So what I'm going to do is just cut a piece of paper. We don't need, even need all of it if we decide to paper piece his hat or just something like that. So all I'm going to do is take this hat area and plus include this inlay. And I'm just going to run that through, okay? So when I come back, I'll have that, and I'll cut his little shoes out of black paper just so that they really pop. Oh my gosh. You guys don't laugh at me. I'm just <laughs> grabbing tape that's, like, on my table that helps me hold things down. Look at that. Okay. I'm going to run his shoes through, too, and I'll be right back. Okay. And we have his little shoes. That's all I was going for on this one. So I'll put a little glue down here. And I don't know if there's definitely a way that they face. Um, looks like this one probably goes over here. I'm just looking at the angle of the shoe and kind of the way it's created. And then maybe this one goes here. Or maybe I have that backwards. That looks right, doesn't it? But if this one was over here, I think, I think we're good. Um, okay. So those are his little shoes. And then for his hat, like I said, I ran this one through. And all you can do is just snip this away if you wanted to. So um, I'm just looking to see how much shows from his beard. So I'm actually going to snip up this way to snip that off. And this one too. And I think that'll fit the best into his little beard and everything. Yes, perfect. So I didn't snip it on the side. I snipped up from the bottom up. Hopefully you saw that. Because look how perfect that fits in there now. And so he has a little hat with a little detail, but it still has that little print showing underneath. Aw, and that really makes him pop, doesn't it? Okay. Um, okay, let me cut out his um, balloon and string, and I will be right back. Okay. Oh, how cute. 
cute is that? Oh my goodness. And the little string is cut up on the back side of that pattern paper, so there it is. And let's see. Should be something like that. This is here, this is here, this little guy is here. Ooh, maybe I'll put a pattern paper behind there. I'm not sure I wasn't thinking that far. So let's put a little paper a little glue here. And of course you can be holding a whole a whole bouquet. I just gave him one balloon. Oh my goodness. Okay, he looks really cute right there. Actually, should we pop him up? Okay, let's do a little. Okay, if we're gonna pop him up there, I'm just gonna wait. What I need to do is line this out with some dimensional. Oh my goodness gracious. It's here, but it's on a roll and it's unraveling already. So let me make sure to grab this. Look at this thing. Ugh. I try to tape it down, but it just pops back open. It's really kind of a little extra. All right. So I'm just going to line this out a little bit close to the die cut area. Why not? That way we don't have to waste too much glitter or shaker stuff. Okay, and I'll be right back. And whenever you line this out, you always want to make sure that you are completely touching one to the other so things don't just sneak out those little edges, okay? I'll be back. the way it looks nice and clean behind him, but I have this little, like, paper pad that's, I don't know, like, hometown kind of paper pad. Um, I'm thinking maybe this one. Would that be fun? So I'm going to cut this down to fit behind my cardstock there. Let's see. Actually, we can have a look and see. You know, look at that. It just makes it pop. Okay, I'll be right back. Just going to trim it down about the same size as my card topper. Let's go ahead and glue this guy down. Looks good right there. I made it a little smaller than the 4 and 8 and a little smaller than the 5 and 3 eighths. And let's get this guy over here. Peel this off and I have some little clear sprinkles here. I think that's all I'm going to use right now. Clear sprinkles. I guess I'm talking about glitter. <laughs> Sequins, spangles, whatever it is that you like to use. Um, I should probably wait for this to be super dry because some might get stuck back there, but that's okay. I have these little clear ones. And since this is kind of a larger space, I'm going to put a little bit more. And let me see if I can find something like green or something to bring back that green back in and I'll be right back. I have this little pack of green sequins we can just throw in. Why not? Okay. So let's let that settle down a little bit. Bring this guy back. Just a fun card with a little bit different style from what I normally do. Colorway and everything <laughs> included there in that. I always turn it over and I give it a really, really good squish. If you want to add a little glue on your uh, 3D foam adhesive, I would recommend it because it does get old after a while. It can get brittle and then the whole thing falls apart, right? So it's nice to have some glue in there. Look at that. So cute. Okay. And I was going to pop him up, so I'm still going to do that. But let me get some lower kind of profile um, 3D adhesive behind him and I'll be right back. Okay, so we have, again, oopsie, our little... 3D adhesive behind him. I'm just going to pop him right down here. I really like the way that embossing kind of ground, grounds it, you know, and then we repeat it on the top. Really cute. And I'm just going to glue this down. So from his little hand, a little glue to here, and that way it just kind of sits down in here. And let me grab a sentiment and I'll be right back. Sentiments from the celebrations. Um, bundle uh, with all the different bird things. Oh, look at this one. kind of like that better. I don't know. I like the black, though. I kind of like it down here, but then I wanted to like he's just stepping on it. So, hi, happy, how about happy birthday? You are so amazing. It's your birthday. I mean, how cute. Nice to have those to just finish off our card. And so, again, I'm just going to stick these down since we have dimension in other ways. So, I'll just put this like right here. A little more masculine feel on this card, but I think it's really sweet for anybody. Of course, change up the colors. 
or if your recipient really likes green, then there you go. <laughs> so let's see here. Happy birthday. Sorry, there you go. You are so amazing. I really like the feel of this card. It's so sweet. Thanks for watching, guys. Thank you so much, Spellbinders, for sending this item for a review. I am sorry it sold out so fast, but you know, we're having fun with it. Hopefully, you got in on it. And if not, keep an eye out next year. I will definitely let you guys know. I believe it came out in October this year, so just keep an eye out. Um, <laughs> 10 months from now or so. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I'll have pictures coming up, and I'll see you at the next one. Bye now. Thank you.